Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you what an absorbing Markov chain is using this type of technique with Markov chains. The structure is the same. We have, let's say, three stores, stores A, B, and C. The, the customers that are in store A are only 30% loyal, which means 30% of the customers who went to store A will remain in store A the following week, 60% will go to store B, and 10% will go to store C. Store C will only retain 20% of its customers, meaning whatever customer, out of the 100% of the customers that went to store C, only 20% will still shop at C the next week, 20% will go to B, and 60% will try to try store A. And finally, store B, notice that whatever customer goes to store B doesn't ever go back to A or C, will remain a loyal customer to B. And the only thing that happens is that B will end up with more and more customers, but none of the customers will leave B to go to either A or C. When you have a situation like that, where one of the stores will get all of the customers, will n but none of the customers go back to the other stores, then eventually, over time, you can see that B will end up with 100% of the customers, A and C will end up with 0% of the customers. And that's what we mean with a, well, the, the matrix that goes along with that and the order of events when we multiply the state matrix with the transition matrix, which we'll draw in just a moment, eventually we'll end up with all the customers at B, none at A and C, and we call that an absorbing Markov chain. So let's draw the transition matrix. So P is equal to, and remember that here's the stores where we're coming from, here are the stores we're going to, so this would be from this side, and two over here, so we go from A, B, C, to A, B, and C. So in this particular method of using Markov chains, we have the from stores on the left side and the two stores at the top. So now we have our matrix, so from A to A, that'll be 30%, so from A to A, this right here, that is 0 0.3, from A to B, from A to B is 60%, 0 0.6, and from A to C is 10%, that would be 0 0.1. Again, those numbers from left to right horizontally need to add up to one. Okay, now we go from B to A. From B to A, from B to A, there's 0%, so we put a zero there. From B to B is 100%, so we put a one. And from B to C, we have zero, no customers going back to C. And then finally, from C to A, from there to there, C to A, that's 60%, so 0 0.6. From C to B, that would be 0 0.2. And from C staying at C, that's right here, 0 0.2. Again, a quick check shows that if we add up all the elements from left to right, they, add, they all add up to one, and so therefore, that is a correct matrix. Now notice, one of the rows has a one and everything else is a zero. That is a pretty good indicator that is probably an absorbing, absorbing Markov chain. So what's, what happens now if we multiply the stable state matrix with the, um, with the transition matrix and we do it over and over and over again, eventually we'll see that all the customers end up with B and none with A and C. And that is what we call an absorbing Markov chain.